Hello YouTubers and in this demonstration I'm going to show you how to capture your webcam through a free program called VLC. If you type VLC in a Google window I'm sure it won't be long before you can find a, a reputable source on where you can download VLC. I've already got it installed, here it is, it looks like a little traffic cone. So let's start it up and the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to select media and then I am going to select open capture device because that's what I want to do capture from my webcam now at the top here you'll see capture mode and if we drop this box down we've got other options we can use uh, TV digital or even capture uh, our desktop applications um, so it's a really good program all round so I'm going to leave it on direct show because that's what I need to capture my webcam the next uh, part here is the device selection so we've got video device and audio device. Um, it may be that you are using the same audio that's built into your webcam. I, on the other hand, have got two separate sources. So I'm going to drop the box here and choose my trust webcam. And for the audio device, I'm going to choose my microphone Realtek high definition. Um, and I could click these buttons here to configure the settings for my webcam if I wanted to um, mess around with brightness, contrast, hue, etc., or even focus and exposure, setting them on or off or to auto or not auto. And I can do the same thing with my audio side. So I could um, disable this and select mono, and I can change the uh, record level bars up and down, etc. I'm going to leave everything as it is. And the next option here is our video size. Um, so let's go for standard HD. So I'm going to say 1280 by 720. And then the last thing I need to do is select advanced options. And the important thing at the top here is the picture aspect ratio. Obviously, we've got HD. We don't want it in 4.3. We want it in 16.9 widescreen. And the other thing we need to change here is our frame rate. And we want at least 30 frames per second. So we'll change that, and I'm going to say OK. The last thing left to do is click play. Now it's not recording. No, it's not recording. It's not recording. I better, better turn my just turn the volume down there, otherwise we get some feedback. Um, not terribly good quality. I've got some bad lighting here, but it just shows you that um, we can see um, how we look before we record, and we've got a record button here in red. Now it did take me a long time to figure out well where is the record button, and it was simply because you need to click view and make sure advanced controls is checked. As long as that's checked, you'll see that record button down there. So if I click record, and we can wave, and we're recording ourselves, and then if I click the record button again, it stops recording. So hopefully it would have saved our recorded file, uh, but where did it save it? Well, by default, if we go into our username and then go into my videos, we should see a file there. And here is our recorded video. And obviously it would be a lot better quality if I had some nice lighting. Anyway, I hope you found that tutorial useful. I may even do another quick video and show you how to do all of this again with another free program called Virtual Dub. Thanks for watching.